Hey guys, it's Erica from Erica Marie Plans. Welcome back to my channel. This week I am doing the week of July 15th until the 21st. And this is officially my last spread until I am all caught up. And um, I am officially caught up. Sorry, excuse me. I just had like a bunch of salsa and my mouth is on fire right now. So this week I am using a kit from Scribble Prince Co. called Pool Day, I think. I don't know why I always freaking do this to myself. I never look at the name of the kit before I start doing this voiceover. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So um, I think this is my last my last summer kit I'm using. I can't remember. I know next week or the week that we're currently in, um, I'm using a kind of like a beach theme kit, but it's not from Scroll of Prince Co. So I think this is my last summer kit that's from Scroll of Prince Co. for the summer. I'm like kind of over summer kits. I'm so ready for fall kits to come out and well, not really come out because I know they've been coming out, but I'm just ready to use like my fall kits. So yeah, this week, um, there was not a whole bunch that went on. Um, my dog was still super sick this week and I had family come to town, but other than that, that was pretty much all that happened. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to talk about. I, oh, the glitter headers. I think there was two options of glitter headers for this um, kit. And I chose like the confetti, like rainbow, pastel rainbow one. And I really think it's super pretty. And then for um, the overlays for the headers, I used my leftover ones I had from my 4th of July spread from Sadie Stickers. And I thought that turned out so pretty on top of those, as you can see here. And then um, for the sidebar, I was tracking my hydration and um, no takeout and my dinners. And then for the bottom, I just use that extra full box that comes on the, um, the bottom washi page. And then I put a um, my overlays on and I used the To Infinity and Beyond one because this was the week that I saw um, Toy Story on a field trip and I just wanted to mark that and I thought it... I don't know. I just thought it looked cute. And then I'm just using a bunch of header or a bunch of overlays from Sadie Stickers and um, Scribble Prints Co. But I think that's pretty much it for the spread uh, or for the basics. I'm going to go ahead and get started with Monday. Monday, um, I called the vet because I can't remember why. Well, I know it's because of my dog, but um, I think I just called to make an appointment. Oh, yeah. I called to try to make another appointment for my dog because it just was not getting better. His like wound that he had on his leg, it looked disgusting. And I would show you pictures, but I feel like it's kind of offensive. Like it's really, really disturbing. His like pictures of his wound. So I called the vet. Um, I also did laundry this day, and um, I got some happy mail from Panda Bear, Panda Bird Designs, um, which I've never gotten anything from her before, and I was so happy with it. Also, if you can't tell, I'm doing something a little different. I am writing out what is going on throughout the week, too, instead of just putting the stickers down. I personally like when people write down their stuff while they're putting the stickers down, and so I decided to try it this week, um, and I kind of really like it, and I was able to get my whole spread done in one take and I usually break it up so it was really nice doing it all in one take and I seen it seemed like it went a lot faster even though I was writing everything down as I went but I personally like it let me know in the comments down below if you guys would rather me write everything down as I'm filming or just write it all later so let me know what you guys think about that um, to finish off Monday I did a lot of filming this day my insurance was due and I also had some kombucha I've been really obsessed with kombucha lately and so I had one of those um, I've been having a couple of them every week and for me I think it's working it's definitely cleaning me out and <laughs> it's I don't know it makes me feel uh, just better in general um, Tuesday um, my dog was really not doing good this day um, and I was just kind of like upset about it. Also, this day at work, we had a little situation with, it was so dumb. It was just a parent that was just being very dumb. Um, it was, it, it, I'm not going to go too much into it, but yeah. So we 
one of my kids like started a chant it's um they were saying like mean old, mean old lady to the lady that was being like super rude to me and the kids so and she wasn't even a parent that came to our program it was just a parent that we saw at the park and she was being super rude to me and to some of my kids too so it was really annoying. Um, also, once work was over, my boyfriend and I had some tacos. And then we went to Cold Stone, which is the first time I'm going. I went to Cold Stone after like quitting. It was so weird being in there and walking in there. It smelled so like sweet and just like ice, like an ice cream store. Because every time I would go in there, I couldn't smell it because I was so used to it. Used to it. And so walking in there, it was just like, so this is what it really smells like to other people. It was so weird. But got my ice cream, and which was really nice. And some of the people that I worked with were working there, so I didn't have to pay for my ice cream. So yeah. And then also we came home, and my dad decided to test drive my boyfriend's car because he, I don't know, I didn't, it was just like something I wanted to write down. Moving on to Wednesday, we went to Toy Story 4 um, super early in the morning with my kiddos, and then it was also Wiggle Wednesday um, from Scribble Friends Co., so I definitely had to pick those up, and I got a super bad migraine this day. Um, like, it was really bad. I haven't had one of those in a long time, so I came home, took a nap, folded laundry, and then my boyfriend came over after his hockey game, and we just watched Dark. He ordered food, but I just felt so nauseous from my migraine that I just, I didn't want to eat anything. And so I didn't have dinner that day, but I was definitely, like, struggling. Um, for Thursday, when I woke up, I still had my headache, and it was so bad. And I think it was a coffee headache, because once I had coffee the next day, I just felt so much better, like, 30 minutes later. Wednesday I didn't have any coffee so when I got into work I'm like all right I just need to have like some coffee um so I stopped at Starbucks before heading into work and I just felt so much better um after work I decided to take my dog a bath and I don't know if it's just me but like we don't ever give our dogs baths um I don't know if that's weird but like I haven't given my dog a bath in over a year and I that might sound kind of gross but like I don't know, that's just how we've always done it in my family, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Um, so I gave them a bath, and it felt really nice for them. Um, after that, I decided since I had worked so hard by, with giving them a bath, I went, and go, I went to go pick up some wings and Baskin-Robbins. And then that night, holy hell, that night my, I took my dog's cone off, Max, the one that's sick, because I'm like, I'm so tired of seeing him in this cone. Like, he feels awful, like, wearing his cone. So I'm like, I'll just take his cone off and I'll watch him. And we both fell asleep in my room. Little did I know that he woke up without even waking me up. Because usually he wakes me up whenever he wakes up. And I realized that he was gone. And I looked down at him and his wound was gone. And I'm so sorry if this sounds gross, but he freaking ate his wound off of his leg and it was disgusting um it was literally a murder scene I'm so sorry I'm like getting like super into this but it was just like I was so scared I'm like what the hell did I do like I didn't know what to do and it was super late at night it was like midnight and I had already been asleep for hours and I just had such a long night and I didn't know what to do so we had to wrap it up and everything and I set my alarm for every hour to wake up to check on him make sure he was okay if he wasn't like getting a fever but it was just the longest night ever. So Friday, I had to go get coffee because I was so tired because I got no sleep, essentially. So I went and got coffee Friday morning. Um, and then I called the vet and everything just to, like, I don't know. Because I was like, what the heck do I do? And they said to bring him in, um, like, but he was fine. So I just made an appointment to bring him in the following week. And, yeah. So he's better now. Like, I think after that thing being off his leg he's doing so much better and it's healing now so I just feel like I've wasted so much money going to the vet and then telling me all the wrong things that I should be doing and I didn't listen to them and now he's doing like perfectly fine so sorry I just like went off on a tangent but I it just really frustrated me that I've been taking him to the vet and they've been telling me all these wrong things so let me know if that ever happens to you guys um, so after getting my coffee, I got happy mail from Glam Planner on Friday. And then I also had a dry bar appointment because it was a grand opening at this dry bar that is super close to my house. And I decided to become a member, which is really nice. I've been going every single week to get a blowout now. 
Um, we, I drove down to SAC to go visit my boyfriend, and then we had date night at this, oh, bless you, that was my dog. <laughs> um, we had date night at this Greek place called Petra, um, and it was quite good. I've never had Greek food before, so I wanted to mark that, and it was like a really nice date night, and I think we like watched Netflix when we got home. Oh no, he just passed out, and I think I watched like Pretty, Pretty Little Liars. I can't remember. Um, so Saturday, I woke up super early because my boyfriend was leaving, and so I had to go home. Um, and then so when I got home, I watched the Shane Dawson new video, which was quite interesting. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. Um, I also did a Target run, and I had a Pretty Little Liars binge. Um, I did a whole bunch of filming and editing, and then I put down this script that says Messy Bun Getting Stuff Done, which is like my favorite script, and it's from Pixie Duel and Bear. I also made a pot of coffee super late at night. Um, those icons are from my news addiction, and I liked how they matched, so I had to use a good amount of them. Since I made coffee, I stayed up until like 4 a.m., and I folded all my laundry because I had so much laundry that needed to be folded. I did so much filming, so much editing, and I just marked on the very bottom that it was a super late night because I could not fall asleep. And usually coffee doesn't affect me like that, but that coffee that I made was so strong that I stayed up till 4 a.m. doing all of that. So moving on to Sunday, I did wake up still relatively early. I think I woke up at like eight o'clock because I cannot sleep in. Um, Sunday, I made myself some coffee and sat outside with my dogs for a little bit and it was so nice to do that. Um, I, oh, I slept in, but I considered sleeping in like eight o'clock, 8.30. So that's why I put that pillow there. So I slept in and then had my morning coffee. I had Chipotle um, and I didn't have it until like four o'clock because I hadn't eaten all day. And so I finally was like, you know what, I need to eat. So I got Chipotle um, at four o'clock and I was still doing a whole bunch of filming, editing, uploading that day. And then my family was in town and I can't remember. Oh, they were in town for my cousin's birthday. Um, and so they came into town, we hung out with them, and they went to Dairy Queen, and I've never been to Dairy Queen, at least that I know of, and so I went to Dairy Queen for the first time and got a blizzard, it was not the best, and I just, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of blizzards, apparently, but yeah, so that was it, oh, and I didn't mark it, but when um, I got Chipotle, I got a burrito, and I only ate half of it, because I really wasn't hungry, and I threw it in my garbage, and I didn't think my dog was going to get into it, and then he did, so when I came back from Dairy Queen, he ate my whole freaking burrito and he got sick. So yeah. All right. So that completes this week's plan with me and I will talk to you guys in a minute. All right guys. So this completes this week's plan with me and now I am officially caught up. It is such a great feeling to be caught up with everything because I already have this week plan that I posted last week on my channel. And then the next one is just the week that we are currently in. So I can't even plan it right now because the week's not over. So I am so happy with this spread. I love the way it turned out. I also did something different. Um, I mentioned it in the beginning that I was going to write everything down while I was playing. So let me know if you guys like that better. Um, I think it was Lauren from Plan Mosh Plans. She like mentioned that she likes to write it. And I personally like when people write in their planners. So I don't even know why I didn't even think about doing it on my end when I'm filming. So. Let me know what you guys think. I did have to write it in print because I cannot write cursive without being like super close to the paper because I am horrible at cursive. Like even when I am like trying really hard, I still think my writing is awful. So I had to do print because it was a little easier and even then I don't like my print. So I just really need to work on my handwriting apparently. But yeah, so I love the way it turned out. I love all the foil, all the character stickers I use. I think it matched pretty well. And also, if it's a little dark on this end, I wasn't able to move my light closer because it's my dog is in the way, and I didn't want to wake him up because it's going to sound lame, but, well, no, because it's his birthday, his, his birthday, and I just didn't want to wake him up, and I felt really bad, so I wasn't able to move my studio light closer. So I'm sorry if it's a little dark in here. I'll try and do some editing to make it a little brighter if it comes out dark on the screen. But um, yeah, so that is everything for this week. Um, make sure to subscribe so you guys can see new videos from me and videos that are up to date. I have so many videos planned that I've been wanting to do for so long, but 
having these plan with me's done first is was like the number one thing on my checklist and now that i can check that off i have so many different videos i want to do and so check those out and be on the lookout for those um, if you guys want to see close-ups of everything make sure make sure to follow me on instagram i will have those pictures posted and those should all be caught up too by now but yeah I would just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribed and it's been like watching my videos every week I really do appreciate it and I just want to thank you guys so much um, but I think that is pretty much it so here is the final wiggle and yeah so I will see you guys next time in my next video and don't forget to like this video and I don't know what else to say, but thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.